simplest way I can make you understand how to solve questions in sorts. Okay, so if you are given a question like this, root six plus root two, what do you think would get? Root eight, right? <laughs> well, that's wrong. Nope. The radicands are different, so we cannot add them together. They are not the same. They don't belong to the same family. But imagine you have something like this. Root 2 plus root 2. Somebody would say root 4, which is not correct. Okay? We're dealing with the values outside the root, not inside the root. So let's try again. So for now, we have root 2 plus root 2. We have similar radicands now, right? But we are saying we can't add them together. Why? Because we are dealing with what is outside. So what do you have outside? 1 plus 1. Root 2 is common. Right? Because root 2 times 1 is root 2. Root 2 times 1 is root 2 with your addition sign. So now you have... 1 plus 1, 2 root. That is how we solve addition inserts. This is 1 root 2 and 1 root 2. So 1 plus 1 gives you 2 root 2. Let's do something else. So given something like this, what's the first thing you take note of? Your radicands, they are the same, right? So that means we can add them together. So you have 3 outside, you have 4 outside. So 3 plus 4, which you can also do like this. 3 is common. 3 is here, and 4 is here, and root 3 is common, right? Just like your factorization. So you have 3 plus 4, 7 root 3. That's the same thing for subtraction. If you have a subtraction sign here, you just say 3 minus 4. You have a subtraction sign here, you just say 1 minus 1. It's the same thing that applies for addition and subtraction. Now let's move to multiplication. You have a root 5 times root 4. No, we want to use sort. Root 5 times root 4. This can just be multiplied to give you root 10. From the rules of from the rules of sort, this can just be multiplied to give you root 10. If you remember our rules from sort, right? From multiplication and division, it's no problem. But for addition and subtraction, make sure that your radicands are the same okay so giving another example so you remember right from our rules we said the values outside can multiply each other so you have three times two and then the values in the roots can also multiply each other so five times three so you have six roots 15. so now for division you can have your division sign covering the whole thing right and then we simplify 5. 5 and 5 is 1. 5 and 15 is 3, right? So you can also have separating it back again. So you know that the root of 1 is 1 over... The root of 3 is not exact. So we preferably leave it in its root form, right? And this is your answer for... The roots under division okay so i hope you understood what we did today if you have any question please leave your question in the comment section below before i forget let me give you an exercise to solve so why not solve this for me and let me know your answer in the comment section okay So why not solve this and let me know your answer in the comment section. Until next class, bye.